Hi everybody, we're out at the farm at Dolby with the father-in-law. He's in there tinkering away, so we've got some of the gear together for the fit out of the, the, the trailer with the solar gear, all the Enerdrive stuff. Landon's having a play around with all the Ego gear, enjoying himself. So we've just done a bit of a basic fit out. Um, we're going to locate the e-power. So we're just sort of on a basic kind of layout there at the moment. And then what we're thinking is we'll end up putting the the king's control panel that we got because it's already all in one box we're just going to mount the the dc to dc and a drive uh, charge at the front of that and then we can utilize i guess the anderson plugs that we've got and some of the other switching if i want to put some lights i've got the usbs there also 12 volts so if you ever wanted to put a fridge or charge charge a phone or an iPad or something like that, we can do that. So the next part, we're just gonna pull this um, this back off here, and then we'll start fixing some stuff in. Um, from there, we'll probably mount our fuses along here and start working in our cable runs. Okay, so Pete's been battling away with me. Well, I haven't done much, to be honest. <laughs> Pete's been helping out heaps. And we've got it dummy mounted up here. We're just lining up the cables just to see what the lengths are for the battery, but it all looks pretty good so far. And then we'll just work out the solar stuff and route that in later. Those cables are that thick, so they're going to be. Honey? Yeah. I can't think that's going to come off. Yeah, it'd be a little bit hard to get to that one, but anyway, we'll work. The top one will be pretty good. Oh, like a glove. Beautiful. So I've just located the Genko Tiger 370 watt panel on the roof. Just put it in place. So we've got this corner corner RV on a campus style. Little things to screw down and silicon, and then I've just got to do the solar inputs and then the battery, and then we'll get some solar tomorrow. So, here we go the official moment. Lots of noises. Hey. Lots of noises. That's good. Noises is good. Yep. Well, that's why I started the camp there. <laughs> so what's your average? 13.4. 13.4, yeah. Okay, we'll it up. There we are. It's all happening. Um, what do we got? 17.6 amps. 13.5 volts. Hey. 31 volts coming into it. Cool. Let me just turn this one on. 
Oh, we've got a hold and turn it on. That's probably the guy. There we go. Got the grinder out. Oh, nothing out at the moment. That's because Landon's fiddled with this. <laughs> okay, so a bit of a summary of what we've gone through. Uh, a couple of the main things are just working out the board setup. It would almost be worthwhile getting like a proper electrical cabinet and almost building it in a cabinet because it was quite um, difficult going in and out with the dummy fits. Um, especially with that bigger cable coming out of the inverter because um, it's quite hard to manipulate and, and do like the little turns and stuff that you need to do. So if you had it on a, on a bench with an electrical cabinet, the good thing about the little King's unit is it did, did help quite a bit with just putting it all onto a couple of positive and negative blocks inside. So it made some of the wiring a bit easier. These big ones were quite challenging and Pete had a fair bit of trouble getting those in, which is, which is fair enough. Um, so all charging really well. 17.2 amps from the, from the big um, solar panel that's going into it. Uh, I ended up getting a, an Aussie batteries uh, lithium, so that's a 140, 140 volt Atlas battery. Um, and it seems to be pretty cool. I would have liked to have got the Enerdrive 200 amp one there. A little bit, or well, I should say they're pretty pretty premium sort of battery. Um, but there are some cool things that you can do with them. You can um, connect to them with an app and check out what your current drawer is and all sorts of stuff when you put certain devices in. So that would be quite a cool thing to have in future. Uh, when you're setting up the DC to DC charger, you just press and hold this menu. And by default, you can probably see that it's set to AGM there currently. So we're just going to go to lithium and then we'll set that. It'll just have a, a different charging algorithm that it'll do um, when it does its charging cycles and standbys and different things. But yeah, pretty cool. It's all going and really happy with it and looking forward to starting the business with all the electrical gear ready to go. So here we go, all finalised, finished and working. Power board in, charging fine. Got two Ego batteries on charge and the key to drill. They're working really nice. It's two o'clock and it's still making 16 amps off the solar panel. We're going really well. Wouldn't expect to have this many things plugged in at one time, but I just wanted to give it a bit of a test to see how it goes. So I'll tidy up all this cabling and different things. I might move a few things around, but working very well.